resource framework that allows to store and process big data in a distributed environment across clusters of computers using simple programming models. The number of data sources and the amount of information that can be stored and analyzed have increased significantly over the past several years. In fact, the amount of digital data that exists is growing at a rapid rate which has opened the scope of analytics in different areas but at the same time created a problem and the problem is nothing but management of this new set of data. There are different definitions for this big data. Gartner defines it as big data is high volume, high velocity and high variety information assets that demand cost effective innovative forms of information processing that enables enhanced insight. Evolution of Big Data First time in year 1880, US Census Bureau faced data handling as a challenge. When they realized that it would take eight years to handle and process the data collected during the census and predicted the data from the year 1890 census would take more than 10 years to process. But fortunately, in year 1881, a young man working for the Bureau named Herman Hall Eris created the whole earth tabulating machine which resolved this problem. Major breakthrough happened when in year 2003 and 2004, Google released two papers, Google File System and Google Map Reduce, to show how the storage problems associated with this big data can be solved. Big data has three main characteristics. Volume, that is the amount of data. Velocity, that is the speed of data in and out and variety that is range of data types and sources. Volume describes the amount of data generated by organizations or individuals. Big data is usually associated with this characteristic. Velocity describes the frequency at which data is generated, captured and shared. And variety means much more than rows and columns. It means unstructured text, videos, audios that can have important impact on company decisions if it is analyzed properly in time. Let us discuss now types of data and their significance. Normally data could be in three forms, structure, any data that can be stored, processed and accessed in a particular format is called structured data. Example, database like SQL or Oracle. Semi-structured. This will hold both types of data. Example, is personal data stored as Excel file or data from Twitter. Unstructured data with no particular structure or format is unstructured data like Google search or email with attachment. Need for big data analytics. Data in today's business and technology world is indispensable. The big data technologies and initiatives are rising to analyze this data for gaining insights that can help in making strategic decisions. Big data analytics involves the use of analytics techniques like machine learning, data mining, natural language processing, and statistics. The most important aspect of the analytics involving big data is that the data obtained from different sources in different sizes. Big data has the properties of high variety, volume and velocity. The data sets come from various online networks, web pages, audio and video devices, social media, logs and many other sources. Thus in most organizations, multi-structured data is growing 
at a considerably faster rate than structured data. Why big data with Hadoop? First of all, it is an open source software framework that supports the storage and processing of large data sets. Apache Hadoop is the best solution for storing and processing big data because Apache Hadoop stores huge files as they are, like raw data without specifying any schema. It is high scalable. We can add any number of nodes, hence enhancing performance dramatically. Data is reliably stored on the cluster despite of machine failure. It ensures high availability even if a machine or few hardware crashes. We can always access data from another path. Another aspect is it is economic. Data runs on a cluster of commodity hardware, which is not very expensive, and also because of limitations of SQL based tools. Hadoop architecture framework includes four different modules. Hadoop Common. These are Java libraries and utilities required by other Hadoop modules. These libraries provide file system and OS level abstractions and contains the necessary Java files and scripts required to start up. Hadoop Yard. This is a framework for job scheduling and cluster resource management. SDFS or Hadoop Distributed File System provides high throughput access to application data and Hadoop MapReduce. This is a yarn based system for parallel processing of large data sets. Hadoop is comprised of five separate daemons. Each of these daemon run in its own JVM. Following three daemons run on master nodes, name node, secondary name node and resource manager. Name node. This daemon stores and maintains the metadata for SDFS. Secondary name node. Performs housekeeping functions for the name node. Resource manager. It runs on yarn master node for map reduce. Following two daemons run on each slave nodes. Data node. That stores actual data. And node manager which is responsible for instantiating and monitoring individual map and reduce tasks. Two of the most important advances in Hadoop 2 are the introduction of SDFS Federation and the resource manager, Yarn. In Hadoop 1, a single name node used to manage the entire namespace for a Hadoop cluster. With SDFS Federation, multiple name node servers manage namespaces and this allows for horizontal scaling performance improvements and multiple namespaces. The implementation of SDFS Federation allows existing name node configurations to run without changes. For Hadoop administrators, moving to SDFS Federation requires formatting name nodes, updating to use the latest Hadoop cluster software and adding additional name nodes to the cluster. Hadoop 3 introduced major changes. Avoidance of storage overhead. Hadoop 2 has a lot more storage overhead than Hadoop 3. For instance, in Hadoop 2, if there are 6 blocks and 3 times replication of each block, the result will be 18 blocks. The storage overhead can be reduced from 200% to 50% using erased coding, a new feature in SDFS. That can reduce storage overhead by approximately 50% compared to replication while maintaining the same durability guarantees. Hadoop 2 and Hadoop 1 only use a single name node to manage all namespaces. Hadoop 3 has multiple name nodes for multiple namespaces. It also helps in faster time to market and multiple standby name nodes 